next couple of weeks. So, yeah, that's why she's been standing in the back and all of that. So it's just to the point where she can no longer do it. And Julie was stung by a scorpion like an hour ago, so that's why she's not here. Um, yeah. <coughs> I think Danae can use our prayers too. Yeah, yeah. Danae. Yeah. For those who don't know, she just went through a miscarriage and all of the messy oh, no. operations oh, and stuff that go with it afterwards. So she's. It's not a happy time for several of our choir members. So hopefully they will find. Are we doing a retreat? <laughs> I, I just was thinking about that too. It's like. I've wanted to, oh, I've been kind of waiting until we kind of people in the choir settle into right. who all right. right. no, here, so yeah. I'm thinking maybe in January we might do a retreat in January. Schedule-wise, October yeah, is crazy, so, yeah. and, and then it's holidays. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I just thought well, January. Well, I just thought it would. Yeah. Yeah. We should go to the temple. Go to the temple. Go to the temple. Go to the Phoenix temple. Right now. Right now. On a road trip. Yeah. Oh, it's going crazy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <coughs> yes, I have a, a group me with my the sisters that I worked with in the temple, and they keep giving me the update. You know, I went yesterday to this and that session at the Phoenix Temple, and there was no room, and I had to wait. And they're not having any extra sessions, they don't have enough workers, so it's just kind of crazy. When we went on Tuesday, every temple in Arizona was closed except Tucson and Phoenix. So Gila Valley and Snowflake and Mesa and Gilbert were all closed. So everybody was at Phoenix. And I was like, whoa. We did not plan this. Yes. The best. It just kind of makes you wonder. Who's in charge of this church anyway? Gregor's mom has always said the only thing that could really shake her testimony of the church is the church building committee because they build buildings that are too small or they don't plan ahead for things like this. And you just kind of wonder. All righty, go to test where we're starting. I would love that. It doesn't have to be. All right. And yes. Uh, this one, it's minor, but gaudete means rejoice. rejoice. We need to, to be happy and joyful while we're singing this, even though it is in a minor key. But the rhythms. The bounciness of it, um, I have the tambourine and the hand drum parts tonight. Did you play the tambourine? Play tambourine. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I don't I really want to take another alto. Well, I'll sing along. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anybody want? We have a hand drum, like the Irish thing. Oh, it's kind of... Can you sing and do it at the same time? I, I can sing it. this with my eyes closed. <laughs> 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 can you sing? I saw it coming from my eyes. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> this is medieval. This is ancient. This was their way of doing it. They would have the verse, like the soprano, sing the words, and then we just go do that Gaudete refrain again, and then there'd be another verse. If you look at them on YouTube, there are versions that have verse after verse. Yeah, that they keep doing the the chorus in there, and then another verse. And so there's words, verses that we don't do in here. We just do two verses of it. But, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. You the, missed my other one, and it was good. Yeah, really good one. I said it was electronic so lame. I know. I was like, so lame. Our version was so much so better. So much better. But I love hearing them do it. It's not in our hymn yes, book. They did. That's true. Yeah, I noticed that. That's true. Hymns that were not in our hymn book. Even when we the last song. Yes, I thought the same thing. I was like, wow, our version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did like our arrangement better, but I was thrilled to hear him do it, as, along with several other about kids, how the, When I heard it, my kids were like, oh, oh, I know the kids are getting lots of stuff that oh, was not in our So we need to ask people. Or, 
They did, Remember president, the last they did president Nelson's song. Yep. Uh-huh, yeah. We recorded that one back mm-hmm. in the day. <laughs> way, way, way back in the day. And the only choir oh, I was so episode. excited yeah. when they sang this one. Yeah. 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 They announced yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I was like, yeah. what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Is it, is it, yeah. isn't that one? I mean, yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. 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 Or whatever yeah. 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 All right, so. I'm going to give the basses the actual E, their starting note. We're technically in A minor, but we don't get there for a while until measure seven, so. <laughs> Down. Uh, all right, so we have two measures of ting. Right. We'll go ahead and put those two measures in. They're ready to go. <laughs> yep. Take, gotta take, Christus is not to say, sorry, 
These are part of a set along with the um, Ding Dong Merrily on High, which yeah. is also very old. So those three are kind of our ancient carols in a set. Uh, this will be the middle one of the set, the kind of slow one, and I know it's not an ancient setting of that, but it's beautiful. You know, <laughs> it is Gregorian chant. Yeah. I was going to say something about why do we have to sing the songs that he's familiar with? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they think the original text is based on like 6th century stuff from the Antiphons, ancient, ancient church stuff. And then, then they kind of took it and poeticized it and set it to music that was not developed with it. It's not actually from the same thing. The music was from France. Yeah. So. Anyway, beautiful stuff. And I love this setting because it takes that ancient stuff and couches it in kind of this jazz setting almost. Like me going to the Until the Son of God 
It just kind of sounds like, yeah. So is the goal on the E or the G? The goal is on the G and then bells on the E with everybody else. Okay. That's a weird way I can't. Okay. And pass that on to your fellow sopranos because I may forget that next week. Okay. Um. Good. Let's go all the way through, and then we'll go back and fix as needed. <clears throat> so this is the one that starts in one tempo, and then at measure 10, we take off, although we're not going to take off real fast tonight. We're going to keep it at a, not quite a real fast swing, because we need to. Not insane moment. Yeah. 192 is quite quick. And to make sure we've got all of our... Yeah, syncopation's in the right spot and all that. I want to make sure that we're doing that right. So. One, two, three, four over mine that I know, okay, this one lines this up, but the two lines, doesn't, yeah, yeah. and the three doesn't. Oh, and three measures over, that four actually lines up. So whatever works for you, just to know, um, start there at measure 16, just speaking it one time. One, two, three, four. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey. One more time. Oh, we're, we're jumping that. Yeah, that's a beat yeah. too. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. but sleigh is fast, and so we need to get off of sleigh quick so that we're there for hay. Um, oh, what fun! One more time. Two, three, four. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey. Like, people didn't do hay. Like, oh, I'll put it in the wrong If it's an open sleigh, you can be on the sleigh. It's still weird. So, oh, what fun, one last time. Same thing. Two and three, four. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Yeah, right. Then we're good. And that is the same thing. Over at the bottom of five, 
The hardest part is that dumb page turn. Yes. Altos, tenors, basses, be ready. Write yourself a note. What are you singing? Hang on to your basses if you can hang on to that B flat. That's where you're going back to. But. Tenors are singing do, 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 and that's where the tenors are also. And altos are finding me. One horse away. Right. Sing those chords right there, top of six, lower three parts. Right on it. Uh, slowly, just making sure we have notes. And. One. Or do we have the 20, 27, 27. 27, sorry. 27. There you go. And one more And that's the tonality we're after. Yeah. It is a C, right? Right. Do that for me again slowly. Same thing. Twenty-seven. And one. So they're they're gonna come right in on that. Let's put that in context. Twenty-four. Oh what fun! And be ready for that. Hang on to it. Two, three, four. Oh what fun it is to ride in a oh, Okay, in the accompaniment on measure 28, how do you even read that crap? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I just, you just hit all the keys I'm down. I'm literally not reading it. Yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah. you have to. You just, yeah, you feel I know, I know how it feels in my fingers. Because you love jazz. It's like, yeah, Well, and a lot of people just kind of. They, they feel the chords as they're, you know, I mean, it's just with something like that, whatever, so my grandson can hit it and it would be right. I mean, just <laughs> <laughs> yep. Try that again from 24 one more time. <laughs> Trying to figure it out, yeah. One, a two, three, four. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse
It says long, long fall. fall. <laughs> How long are we doing yeah. that? <laughs> long fall. We're, we're going to add that extra time. To uh, is it a goofy long, long fall? Like, Do that specifically. I don't want to play over there. We're going to ignore that. 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 We're like, what kind of noise? Raising the ball. Like, no, fine athlete. <laughs> 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 Two more punches. That's not my best. Yes. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Speaking of Regulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I'm over, he's like, hopefully our kids will be in the middle, because I have a little picture here. Let's see. So, ladies, what can we do about measure 80? Cut it out. Just cut it. That is so cool. I love it. But finding those pictures. So, soprano. We just need to practice it. Actually, it's middles. Um, if you think along with the men, sing this, sing, sing that's what you're gonna hold. Da, 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 or da, if you're gonna stay on the big line, whichever middle you are. So, so that will help you. Altos, you can listen to sing this, <coughs> that's what you're gonna da, 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 da. At first, Sopranos, you're just going to have to aim higher, so... Because... <laughs> Sing a section of it this way! So, ladies, real slowly at 80, we're just going to sing those pitches and get used to those there slowly, and... mentally, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and sing along with them if that will help at this time. So, men, just real slowly. Sing this same song. Right? Right? <coughs> it's going to go by fast, but try to, try to get that in there. Let's go back to 73 now. The ground is white. And see if we can get that in there. Two. Now the ground is white, go right in while we are young. Take the girls out tonight and sing their singing song. Can she hit that chord in the back off or something? Which one? Which one? 
Well, you have a Sabito piano and we go to jingle. But I'm like, doing it. I know, but I can't hear my note if you go <laughs> Sabito. Could you, could you go Sabito piano except for that? Uh, <laughs> 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 I'll just do that. <laughs> Is that the Muppets? Is that the Muppets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know that too. We'll have to bring in some Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And are we 100% sure of the B natural on 106? No. That's the other one that I kind of thought. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. It's going to be yeah, I was wondering why when I sang the B flat, I didn't move anywhere. But, <laughs> wait a minute, that's supposed to be down. <laughs> <laughs> that would be often have that problem. Who is the So everybody slowly in the three chord jingle bells, this is the bottom of 17, <coughs> just getting these chords nailed. At jingle bells? Yeah, right on the three four, there we are. And jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle how they felt about the alternating Sunday school, then young women's Sunday school, young women's or priesthood or whatever. And, and most of them said, I'm glad they're not getting rid of Sunday school, which I kind of thought, oh, yeah, they, when I was your age, I wanted to go to Sunday school. You know, that was when we would go to Elder Duncan's yeah. farewell. <laughs> that's the only time that boys and girls could be together. Oh, I That's know. what it is. That's what it is. Good point. We just even young. I thought about that. So, but yeah, hey, as, as a high counselor assigned to award the meets from two to five, and our stake president starts our meetings at six a.m., I'm loving this game. Oh, yeah. That's where we're supposed to go next year, and so I'm hoping as it, they everything backs up. Yes. Oh yeah, because it'll be you'll do you do eight to ten. You're building coordinator nine, nine thirty to you know whatever. Eight to ten. I don't think there'll be any overlap. I think it'll be eight ten noon to two. Oh. 
Oh, no, I don't think they'll start two anymore. I think overlap. overlap and get them done so they can have the rest of the afternoon at home. <laughs> yeah. That's part of the. That's part of the. Yeah. I mean, it's eight. It's better. We got three to six, so I'm just oh, great. Oh, that's oh, my yeah. Yeah. That's what happened when we first moved here. Six too, and we have these little small. Come outside and it's dark and it's just like okay, time for bed, everyone. But you can sing now. The day is over. Yes. Yeah. I'm so worried about it. I love that one. Because my baby is like naturally. So like, I'm just like, I'm going to do that. All right, Merry Christmas. We started that conversation. Our bases have good uh, pitch memory. There we are. So remember not to bog down. Be aware of when you have the melody and when you don't. This is a low melody for sopranos, so be nice, be kind. It's very, very low for especially some of the first sopranos that. Uh, We're. This is actually pretty comfortable. You're good for you. Okay. Yeah. For some <laughs> sopranos, it's, it's kind of not comfortable. So I know Haley's like, <laughs> but she's like, yeah, not, not a soprano like me. But okay, there we are. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, darling. So, do we want another crack at it? Yes, yes. please. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you guys did fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm just not, I'm not super comfortable with our S's on the end of Christmas. And I will try to be real, it's a tiny, tiny little S for the basses, and I'll try to give it to you. Um, and then everybody's got the last one. So. Christmas. <laughs> there we are, same thing, one more time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
right? You're the root of the chord, and you're a half step off of two other parts. So yes, yes. When you hear this song, when you hear this song in your head, who do you hear singing? Like when you hear it on the radio? Well, I Karen Carpenter's who I hear too. Karen Carpenter, I should, yeah, I should bring in a recording now, oh. but uh, she had a very just natural, rich, she was an alto, definitely an alto, everything she sang was yes. down low. That's why I love her so much, but everything she sang was the just was yeah. The yeah. thing about the way she sang was, yeah. it was, it was, she didn't sound like she was trying to right. sing, it was just, it seemed perfectly natural, mm -hmm. and it gave a purity to her sound that I don't think as many other pop singers have ever had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for That's a taste for those of you that aren't familiar with Karen Carpenter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're getting old, I know, but it happens. Yeah. Although, I have a 12-year-old boy piano student who is in love with the Carpenter. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's a little odd, but... Uh, <laughs> Not just because the carpenter's is a little odd anyway, is he, but... Is he homeschooled? Yeah, he's homeschooled. Uh, <laughs> really? Like, Does he have that. a bowl cut and turtleneck like her brother? No, no, no. But, but you ask him any trivia, he can tell you when she died precisely. Actually, he was probably, he probably wasn't wearing a turtleneck. He was probably a dick. Loves their music. I remember in 1973 when their stuff was coming out. Whatever gets them into But it's clean and it's wonderful. It's like, okay, if this is what will help you play the piano, then I'm all for it. Good. So that that kind of real easy singing is what I'm after. I don't want the use and that sort of thing. The, the, the pure vowels would be better. But just that gentle, easy, easy singing. Conversational is what the tempo says. And I think that's one of the things that she excelled at. It was just... You know, her her brother was accompanying her, and he'd be there no matter what, and so she could just sing whatever rhythm she wanted, and you know, it's pop music, so it doesn't matter. But so we do all have to agree. So let's do this one more time. We stay in tune pretty well, which means I'm happy. So, and I'll pay attention to that. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, darling, Merry Christmas, darling. Yeah. 